Hi, and welcome to Fashion Week Online. I'm your host, Melanie Sutrathada, and today we're at the Metropolitan Pavilion, about to see the Manhattan Vintage Clothing Show really take place. It was founded in 1992 and is the country's oldest and biggest and best vintage clothing show. Let's take a look. What makes vintage so different from the things we're seeing in contemporary collections? Yeah, the craftsmanship, the design, certain designers, when they f the first years they designed, it was like really incredible styles and one of a kind, you know, and not made in China, you know, made in France, made in the United States. So, and yeah, and that's what I like. I like the, the, the fabrics, which are hard to find nowadays. Here at Epox Hair Roll, we really pride ourselves in esoteric jewelry, the weird things that no one else has from all time periods. We sell primarily antique jewelry. Uh, we deal in the grand tour of things, from Roman to Victorian to English to uh, uh, Berber, you name it. We've worked across the board. So we're behind the scenes with Mika Franz of Another Man's Treasure, and we're about to see some really great things, Mika. So tell me, what got you really inspired for vintage in particular? Uh, oh, I've always loved vintage for many reasons. I mean, one, you have something one of a kind that no one else has. And, you know, I think that just feels special. And um, I was never really someone who wanted to wear what everyone else was wearing. Um, and plus, you know, the quality, the history, there's so many reasons. Well, um, at, an, at Another Man's Treasure um, Vintage Store in Jersey City, we really focus on affordability um, and then also having a wide range of you know, kind of something for everyone. Um, we do Victorian through 1990s. So we're doing everything from wearable, everyday vintage for people to incorporate, you know, in their everyday lives um, to, uh, you know, real knockout, one of a kind pieces, whether it's for a gala or a wedding um, or, you know, film, TV and whatnot. So, um, and I think really having that affordable, having the price points for everyone is really also something that makes us stand out. A funny thing happened on my way to the forum. <laughs> um, I show up and I see that they printed my sign. So my last name is Como, C-O-M-O. But they decided to print Natalie Cum Vintage. <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe it's destiny again. And so I might change my name to that. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Natalie, tell me what inspired you to open up your own shop? Well, my mom had a clothing store in the 70s called Siam Limited, so I was kind of like born into it. Um, and I've been obsessed with shopping ever since. The first time she took me to a store, I was 17 days old. So I, I don't have a choice at, the, at this point. <laughs> From Dior to Balenciaga, we have been seeing everything here at the Manhattan Vintage Clothing Show. And let's just say you're going to want to be here next year. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Melanie Suchathada, and this has been Fashion Week Online.